What's up? What's up? Hey, Yoshi, Oren, Cubed, Shifu, Spirit, Seichi, Akashika, Unagi. I think I got everyone. And Gooby. Hello, guys. We'll get started again soon here. Um, now, basically what I'm going to be doing today is a redo because I was distracted by beautiful people last time with, uh, oh, nips and, <clears throat> uh, derpy time showing up here. And my video got corrupt. Every time I tried to render it out, it kept, um, having some issues. So this time, I have a little bit better of an idea of how I can show you guys what's going down. How was my Halloween? It was great, Yoshi. Senpai Raiko. Hello. Run for president 2014. Carrots, what's up? So yeah, guys. I'm gonna redo perspective and hopefully do this a little bit better than I did last time. I was so distracted and I had things that I really wanted to say and I just didn't go over it. And Shifu also brought up another thing that I can kind of talk about quickly too. So... And turn that down a little bit and move my microphone again. What's up, Tripwire? Furious. Aww. Alright. So then. London, hello. Oren, you are a beautiful person. I've been in stream, Seiji. I can't welcome myself because I'm not welcome to myself. <laughs> Oops. That focus, though, is not there. I did that last time, too. How did I manage that? There we go. All right, so then we're gonna re go over about perspective a little bit and how to push it so that you get some crazy cool looking photos where, you know, you got like Thresh's scythe up in front in the thing, um, or, you know, people like rushing their hand at you like, Rah! um, it can help with comics, um, and how you actually frame stuff. Um, it'll help with, um, motion and speed of a character. Um, it'll help with even your proportions. It's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do by pushing perspective, okay? So, the first idea that you kind of want to think about before you just start doing a lot of this is a there's two things that you really want to think about. One is, remember about blueprints last time in the older tutorials that I taught you guys? How you have, you know, you have the circle for shoulders. Um, your head, you got your body thing kind of going on, like you start blocking it out. Well, you're gonna do that, but then you're gonna think about it in space. Brigand, what's up? So that's, that's what you guys have to start thinking about really soon here now, is that if you want to start pushing it, you, it's, it's, remember in school when they taught you how to te make a box? And they're like, okay, here's your square, now make it 3D. Ooh, I got a new follow. AZ Ven, thank you for the follow. Remember, remember doing the box thing? Okay, it's the same kind of idea where you're making this 3D box and you have to draw it like you're in elementary school. Same idea. If you want to draw that arm, you have your shoulder and where you want to place it. Here's the side. Okay, so you're drawing a box for your body. And to the elbow, hey look, now we're looking at it in a 3D space. So you can start drawing in your detail as you need to based on your blueprints. Right? So that's the general idea of what we're trying to do with pushing perspective, is knowing that, okay, we have our blueprints, we know how to draw a body straight on, so now we're gonna try to turn it in space so that you get that push, pers push perspective of my hand is here, but my hand is also back here. And look at the difference. I mean, it's huge. My hand is bigger than my head right now in this camera, right? And then this one back here is so tiny. It's probably like, it's, you know, 
it's like the size of my eye. Okay, a little, little bigger than that, but still, you know? But that's what you guys have to start thinking about is pushing these things in your 3D realm where the camera is going to be. So here's my camera, right? I'm pointing at my camera. Where is your camera in idea to where your body is going to be, right? So, I mean, even like a foot, you know? Okay, I can't. I'm gonna fall over because I don't have a good chair support and I am not. Um, physically fit like I used to be. And then you can use the same idea so that you can get your body, like, keep using the lines. Did I beat Odin? I beat Odin. Gino, wear my I beat Odin t-shirt. But there you go. There's kind of just a general idea of it. And then you can start erasing, you can start adding your extra details and everything else to it, right? So there, you guys got kind of a general idea of it, right? And then you just start drawing in and putting the rest of your blueprints out as you need to. So you get this body idea and body shape down, right? Hey, Derpy! That's kind of what you guys want to start to do, okay? Um, use lines to help you out. Use shapes to help you out too and figure out where you want to do stuff. Um, another thing that'll really help and something that you want to keep in mind is where the ground is. Because that can help you push your perspective and where your vocal point is supposed to be, right? So I'll do another brief one here. Whoops. Not what I wanted. Okay, so let's say right here is where my vocal point is and... We're gonna have that as like, so here's my vocal point, right here. And I hate when it snaps to that, but I'll actually do this different. Right, so that's where my vocal point's gonna be. And I'm gonna draw lines out from this vocal point area. They're not perfect. It doesn't have to be specifically perfect unless you're trying to do like like very very specific um <clears throat> excuse me very specific like buildings and stuff like that. That's when you really want to start thinking that out a lot better, right? But with doing that, you can be like, okay, here's my vocal point, and here's my my ground, right? So that's my ground, and everything disappears into that vanishing point, that point right there. So. What you can start doing is like, okay, I want like a road here, and I want my person standing right here. Now this is very simple two point perspective. You can really start doing this with a lot more, but I'm just going basic right now. So, you want something in this area, right? Follow these lines again. Okay, we've got this one, which kind of goes from here to, whoops. So it goes more like that. All right, so now you have your boxed area of where you kind of want to put something in space, right? There's your vocal point and stuff. So now you can start, okay, here's my 3D area. Now I know what I want to draw in here. Or you could just be your building. Like, hey, I want to draw another building back here. I'm still off on that focal point here actually should be I should do another line here okay so it actually should be a, a lot more tilted I fucked it up a little bit well okay if I want it that tall 
It, it can work like that. That was still alright. It's just this needed to come down a lot. Because of how close we are to that vanishing point. It's pretty close. There you go. Okay. So there's your general idea, right? You can start seeing how it's pushing stuff behind it, right? All you have to do is follow these lines. <laughs> you guys want me to do a Bob Ross tutorial? Draw the happy little trees? And then, like I said, you can start drawing stuff in space here. So, we know that this is here. We know that this is going to follow through with the same kind of line. All right, so there's our box. Then you can start drawing stuff in this box to help with pushing your perspective. Um, and keep in mind too, because of where the vocal point is, is where your perspective, where your horizontal line, your horizon line is going to be. Everything from up here is going to have kind of an upward look while everything down here down through this area is going to start rounding out. So you're gonna have stuff that kind of looks up from here. It's gonna be a really tall person, I guess. Call it a giant man. I'm just literally drawing something out random, but Gonna be, he's, it's a titan. <laughs> but you can start pushing into this area. Okay, now we're at this line, so things are gonna start going downwards, right? trying to push out of this box. He's breaking out of the box. All you have to do is just drawing him inside the box and making your proportions as you see fit based on perspective. You know that this leg is pushed behind a little bit more, so you're gonna have some things overlapping, which you're not gonna see, like probably some of this leg a little bit right here, right? You know, this foot's gonna get smaller because he has it pushed back here. Break out of that box, Mr. Stick Dude. And yeah, based on this, like, you start getting a lot more interesting perspective. You got, you start getting a more interesting of a picture. You can be like, oh, okay, now I can use this. I don't have to have all the rest of the background and jazz stuff. You know, I can just have this guy that's doing a really cool, crazy muscle pose now, right? He can be a road grin or something from 14 or, um, hell, he can be even a char something. I don't know. It's, it's however you see fit with it. Right? So we can start racing all this extra stuff that we don't need anymore. I mean, it's really rough. I'm going fast here. This is what I like to do, guys. I like trying to make these tutorials quick and kind of understanding, just so you can kind of get a gist and an idea of it. And then if you wanted to, um, you know, then you change it for your style and your own um, way of using. Like, everyone works differently. So you do what fits for you. And make that work for you. However that's going to work for you. You make everything work. Like, my way of working may not work for you. So take what I have as... Um, just an idea or a starting point and just work with it. Find other ways that make sense to you, okay? Just 
just put a smiley face. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I mean that's very basic. I threw that up really fast, but just to give you guys an idea, right? But once you start, okay, now you've got your blueprint, you've got your idea in there, then you can start detailing, you can start fixing all the extra stuff. Like obviously this knee isn't right, this leg isn't right. It's just a general idea knowing where I kind of want to put stuff so that I can start fixing it later and making it more detailed, such as Thresh or Nautilus. Um, Thresh, I'll go over the top of it again. But I mean, see how the motion is being put into this? Um, you can really tell that because of the way that I push the perspective, you feel Thresh jumping at you, you know? That's, that's what's going on here. You feel Thresh jumping out at you and he's gonna like, he's gonna hook you. He's gonna hook you guys. But the same thing still applies here. I didn't really think about my, I know my vocal points kind of, you know, somewhere down here, my horizon's down here, right? But we've got... I knew that his shoulders were down pointed and you could see, you know, if you could see what he actually has for shoulders, um, you know, you'd be looking down on top of his shoulders because we're looking down at him like this, right? The camera is up top over him, right? Jack Daniels, am I going to play Call of Duty? No. So... I pushed his hand a little bit extra, like it's a little disconnected if I'm honest. But that's okay. When you're pushing perspective, guys, it's okay to get a little bit out of idea. It's okay to be pushing it a little too much where it almost seems like it's breaking, but not to the point that it's actually breaking. Like, have fun with it. It's okay to really, 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 really exaggerate it. When you think you've exaggerated a lot, exaggerate it more. Just a little bit more to really push it. Um, do I have a gathering of tutorials? Yes, on my YouTube, which I will link that. All of these tutorials go on to my Tutorial Tuesday or Tutorial Tips Tuesday, as I'm going to call it. I don't have DeepBot open. Good job, Rin. No, there is no way to kill and absorb Photoshop knowledge from someone, Wheaties. Alright. There we go. Deep butts up. There we go. That's the YouTube channel. For those of you who are seeing us on YouTube later, thank you for being patient. So, I knew my hand was here and I started pushing that out. Body came down to here. He's kind of turned a little bit. I started to turn him back. Me. And the other foot's kind of behind him. And this one comes out here. We have me. And then we have his leg. So I put his hand out here so he could have his lantern. Hey, look, the lantern even has a bottom down view because we're still kind of over top of him. Take Thresh away. There you have it. There's the box I kind of used briefly just to push into his hand. But remember how I was pushing that with that up in your face, guys? Same idea. Same idea here. And then for this too, you can even, I even blocked out for every single one of the bones so I kind of knew where it was going in idea to where the camera was. So I know the camera is facing right here. I know we're kind of looking down on it. So we have kind of our box or triangle-ish look here. Right? We're going to see a little bit more of it right here. So I went down like this. And then there's a little less seen here because we're starting to fall behind the other ones. And then we have a drastic turn. So we have a little bit shown right there because it's still facing the camera a little bit. A little bit shown there. And at this point we're starting to get flat because we're going into the background, right? Right? 
then this one gets really pushed because we're like moving into the camera, right? And there you have it. See how it makes sense when you start blocking stuff out and then you can add all the detail afterwards? That's what you guys need to start doing. Block those things out, push it, and move it into your 3D space. If you need to or you have the ability to, even get a cheap free, um, a cheap or free, um, 3D program. Blender is free. Um, and see how stuff places into this 3D area, and you can use that to your advantage. Like, okay, I want this here, this here, this here, just to get an idea of where you can put your shapes, and then you can draw inside those shapes. That's how I work. That's how I push my perspective. That's how I start understanding stuff. I kind of get an idea that I want something jumping out the camera. I love drawing stuff jumping out at the camera and really pushing that and seeing how far I can um, play with stuff like that. And that's basically it. When someone's running at you, you can really see like, yeah, you know, you've got this hand right here and you can see them running at you and you can push with uh, blurring stuff a little bit um, for the camera. Like, you know, up here, my hand's not going to focus exactly. So it's a little blurry, but you see my face because my face is in focus. Um, and that's how you'll do that. Pudge, I will help you out in just a moment, hon, okay? Um, that's it. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that was a quick little tutorial for you guys and kind of getting a gist or an idea of what you want to start practicing, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But the, for those of you who are on Twitter or uh, Twitch here, please keep, stay, stay here. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to be back drawing and doing some work in just a moment. I was just getting my tutorial done. And redoing it so it is ready to go. Okay? That way I don't have corrupt video again. The program uh, Data Heiston was Blender. Blender is a free 3D program. 3D is kind of hard to understand right away. But once you start playing with it, it's, it's a lot of work. So, Anyways, y'all stick around. I'll be right back. For those of you on YouTube, thank you as always for checking this out. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I always do this every single Tuesday. Twitter is Rin the Yordle. I tweet about when I'm going to go live, what's going on, all that jazz. From video games to drawing to tutorials to free stuff. I might have some more free stuff coming up again soon here. But the only reason I am able to do that free stuff, to do this Tutorial Tuesday, is because of Patreon. Patreon.com. P-A-T. I'm going to spell it wrong. Yeah, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Rin. Um, my Patreon is basically keeping me going. That is so that I can afford life, that I can afford um, my stuff for my computer, keep the internet going, keep the free TS going. The TS is open to you guys. It's in the details on uh, Twitch. Um, for those of you on YouTube as well, if you want to come watch me live, I'm always here every Tuesday on twitch.tv slash Rin the Yordle. Um, and other places you can follow me if you'd like to. I always post all of my artwork and stuff onto Tumblr, Rin's Art Place. Um, Facebook is also Rinny Dinger. So, that's all of my stuff. I'm everywhere. Look up Rin, Rin the Yordle. I'm everywhere. You guys can find me. Um, that's it, guys. So, thank you very much for the tutorial. Um, hopefully you guys had fun and enjoyed it. And I will see you next Tuesday. For those of you on Twitch, again, I'll be right back.